When I was in school, uh, my favorite subject was history. I loved history and how uh, different events cause different other events, which cause different other events. I loved, I loved that kind of domino effect that you could kind of figure out. But I was also fascinated with how good guys and bad guys were determined. I mean, I learned about the Holocaust, like we all did, and how horrific uh, that was. Then I also learned about the expansion of the United States of America, and how noble that was supposed to be. Uh, the decimation and the, the genocide of both can't really be ignored, but it's presented in totally different ways. Killing Angela is an exploration of that movable feast that we call morality. It is the story of Angela Pierce, a girl who was kidnapped uh, when she was in her early teens, uh, broke out of captivity months later only to discover that the world has gone on without her, and they've turned her into a bit of a celebrity martyr. They've, they've changed the high school football team name to the Angels. Uh, there's an Angela Alert Law. Everybody has made her their kind of patron saint of missing people. So she skips town. She skips town, uh, finds a new life, new husband, adopts a new name, all that. Now, uh, in this particular town, there's one detective who has never given up on the case. He's determined to find her and that's uh, John Fowler. And the problem is by being so dedicated and being so focused, uh, he loses everything. He gets suspended with no pay. He loses his partner, he loses his wife, he loses his daughter and house, just everything by trying to be a good man. Killing Angela opens with this Mexican standoff between Angela Pierce, going by a different name, and by John Fowler, who is there to basically save her, rescue her. So which one's right, which one's wrong? Kind of both. I, I put it to the, the artist that I'm working with on this project. I said, who is Killing Angela? Um, and there's no wrong answer. There's just different reasoning. Very much like history. It's, a, it's an extraordinary piece. It's very violent. It's very deep. It's kind of bloody. Um, it's a, there's some there's some comedy in there because I can't I can't do a piece without some sort of comedic element, like the uh, the grave digger in Hamlet. There has to be a release of tension. You just can't keep the audience strangled by the neck for two hours. Um, it's it's fantastic. I'm looking forward to to seeing it.